It's wet again. It just keeps raining around here every three, four days. I haven't looked yet at how much we got last night, but it's a bunch. And we had three inches last week, so there's nowhere for it to go. It is wet. But we're hauling corn. We're gonna get some corn out of these bins. It's looking like right now, the way we're down at the bottom of three different bins, we're cleaning up the floors. We'll probably end up hauling out all of last year's crop. So our bins will be empty to start with for harvest this year. Oh yeah, that. Seems like idling this auger is about the fastest way to empty that. I don't like doing it running water in the bearings, but I don't know what else to do. Uh, we tried running the pump. We, we can run the sump pump, but it just, it doesn't seem to work as well as this auger. I don't see any raccoons coming out of there. Last time I did this, a raccoon came out of the end of the auger. It was okay for a little bit, but it died soon after from complications coming from a gunshot wound. Oh, I love the smell of rotten wet corn in the morning. Morning, Anna. Huh? Eat anyone overnight? Hmm? Huh? Ah. I'm sure most of you guys are wondering just why I'm dressed so doggone fancy today. And it's, first of all, it's because I am, as people call me, the fashionista of farming, right? I mean, that's what, that's what people say, don't they? The other reason is because the old Texas Skyball here, as Jay Hill and I would call it on Instagram, is out in full force today. It's going to be 87 degrees today for a high, which is not crazy. I mean, that's, that's, that's hot for Minnesota, but it's not crazy. But what really gets difficult is the fact that right now, the dew point is 73 degrees, and it's, it's only 71 out, and the humidity is at 82%. So the humidity this afternoon is gonna be unbearable. So I'm just preparing ahead of time, you know, making sure I got my fashion in order. That's always important to look good as a farmer. On top of that, my wife loves it when I wear long socks with shorts, especially with my killer work boots. Getting pretty close to empty over here. Doesn't smell any better. I think I'm gonna give this some time to dry up a little bit, and instead of loading out of here, I'm gonna move to the front, pull out of the grain leg. I gotta turn the box off. We got wet belts back here. But luckily, if you spin them enough and get the smoke rolling, they dry off. Looks like they're going okay now. So the rain collects on the belts, makes them slippery, and the bigger issue is the fact that we got the sweep going in here right now. There's the lighting. That sweep takes extra power from those belts from that motor to run, especially on initial startup. At least it's dusty and rainy, that way everything sticks to you, so that's, that's convenient. Time to go jump trucks with Jim. Five to seven, you getting close to town. Coming up on the glacial park turn here. I'll wait for you here where the shoulder is wide then. And more. I love that sound. So, this tarp motor works fine except for the fact that it's completely split in half across the middle of it. So when it gets to the end of the tarp, closed door open, it separates and the gears start jumping and it can't open or close tightly. So I'm going to fix it the correct way using this cheap ratchet strap. Will this work? Stick around to find out. Will we lose the strap? Probably. That should actually hold better than welding, I would think. Improvising. Loading. Mudding. Another load. You guys see this spot? 
That's where the grill stood all summer. Now it's gone. Apparently somebody realized their grill was missing and came and got it. Eaten. It's gotten quite breezy out, but at least it's dusty. We ended up moving to the back bin here where it dried up a little bit. We don't have this tied into the grain leg yet, but eventually the plan is to run a conveyor up to that one from down here so that we don't have to deal with this belt conveyor. As I climb in the bin here, I'll walk around and show you guys what's going on if you've never seen a power sweep before. Basically, it's a flat floor in here, so to get the remaining corn out, we've got a power sweep running off of a gearbox in the center there that comes out here and slowly augers the corn or whatever grain you might have in here into the center. How neat is that? It's a lot quieter in here and a little bit less windy but it's kind of dusty. If you hang out in here for too long without a mask, that dust just builds up in your throat and your lungs. It's no good. So I actually wear a painter's mask whenever I'm in here for any length of time. Not that the grain dust is specifically bad for you, other than it just builds up in your respiratory system. And I don't sleep very good at night. If I'm in here for long without a mask, I just, I can't breathe very well for a couple of days. back here, but it's better than standing in the dust over there. I'm going to leave this truck here full for Jim to take when he gets back because he likes the red trucks better. So I'm going to hop in the white one and bring that one down. That is the cooler looking one, but it's uh, it must be 150 horse short of these things. I don't know. It, it governs out at like 60 miles an hour and it just doesn't have the horsepower. These cat motors are unbeatable but first I got to take care of something oh, that's been in there for most of the day you can never get them all out of there they just keep coming that's better Seven, are you in earshot? Just pull on into the yard. Okay, I got the red truck loaded for you here. I'll fire it up and I'll take off with the white one. Just driving another truck. Another load of corn. Sweating. We will pull up under the probe here where they will take a sample of our corn and tell us what the test weight, the moisture, and the foreign material is at. There's Jim. We didn't actually fire him. He's still here. 55% test weight, 14.5% moisture. Now onto the inbound scale to see what our gross weight is. I'm not going to show you the weight because I'm pretty sure their scale must be off a little bit. Looks like we got a couple of trucks in line to wait for, but it doesn't take long here. Ah, I love the smell of an ethanol plant. There's a couple of cute little grain bins. got some massive pits here and a conveyor system underneath that takes this corn really quickly. Dump the air in the truck here just to dump the suspension so we don't over inflate the bags and we'll let these babies rip 
it'll pretty much take it as fast as you can dump it. And off to the outbound scale. Now we subtract this weight from the gross weight, come up with our net weight to calculate the bushels using the test weight, and then we get our readout. And then I go back home to do it all over again. get the idea by now right one more load to load for the day okay there's the last one I'm gonna load for the day I am sick and tired of standing in corn dust and I see onyx decided that since it was so muddy out it would be a perfect time to tear up the racetrack that he's building with his four-wheeler Oh boy. All right. Ah, uh, hey. Oh good. Like father like son, I guess. What are you girls doing? Riding bike in the wind. Did you have a good day at school? And plan. You're riding your new helmet and riding your new bike? Actually, this is not my new helmet. It's not a new helmet or a new bike. So in one hour, I've got Randy, the master pipe layer, and another buddy of mine coming over to record a podcast in my basement, which is going to be part of the all-new Millennial Farmer podcast, which I'm still a part of the Fieldwork podcast with Minnesota Public Radio where we talk about farming practices and things of that nature. This podcast is literally just cracking open some cold ones in my basement and talking about farming and whatever else in life in general. Just a good, just a good session of shooting the breeze. And, uh, you know, like a good podcaster, I've prepared ahead of time. Not at all. I still have to build the chairs, and they're going to be here in about an hour, and we have nowhere to sit. So I better get on that, which is, at this point, sounds a lot better than standing in the wind and the corn dust all day. Here we are in the official studio. This is the Millennial Farmer Podcast Compound. This is my buddy Jake. If you remember from like a year and a half ago, he did a 30-second cameo on the Millennial Farmer. Some of you might know Randy the Master Pipe Layer and Mrs. Millennial Farmer down in the end. Quit swinging my arm around, I'm going to spill my beer. <laughs> so this is a new podcast, it's different from the Fieldwork podcast, as I said. This one will come out sometime in October, I hope. Farmers Business Network has come on board to kind of help us put this thing together, get some equipment going here, and obviously some super high level talent. And we're going to roll with it, we're going to see where this goes. So this is what we're going to do tonight, and then I'm going to take a shower. Thanks for watching, guys.